just watch him to manifest it. You are listening to Winds of Praise broadcasting. I love the name of that song. I didn't get to listen too much to it, but it's called The War Cry. Hey, we are in a warfare. This is Scott Albright, hey. and you're listening to Winds of Praise, KWPB LP Newport. I'm here with a bunch of friends. Mm. All right, so I've got you all up there. You got friends? I, I got friends. <laughs> well, places. Rob Dupree, you came in early. Thank you, Rob. I did. Good morning. Good morning. And good morning. Uh, Colleen McNeil, you came in next. Well, good morning to Colleen. everyone. Yeah, and Ernie. Yep, I limped in. You limped you in, limped in. And we prayed for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Threw him on the ground, started yeah. praying over him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stretching me in all kinds of weird ways. You guys are all excited. Um, kind of can't help it. About, I know. <laughs> What's going on? What? Well, you know, this is kind of exciting, waking up with a completely new pain I've never had before. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like, Lord, this sucks, but it's also exciting. Yeah. You know, I mean, if this, you know, we don't want to bring anything upon ourselves, but, you know, and I don't blame everything. Oh, the devil, the devil. But, you know, he's not happy with us. But, you know, rightfully so, because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen. So, so what are we're, you doing to deserve such a thing? Well, we're just, well, Rob and I, over the course of time, we've been wanting to get together for, what, a year or so? And, yeah. And uh, God has finally opened up the doors for us to be involved with a few other ministries. But we're going two by two, which I just love, because that's mm-hmm. how Jesus sent the disciples out, you know, in the beginning. So he's sending us two by two and soon with our wives. And we're going, praying over every county, every mm-hmm. every once a month or every Monday, you know, we'll go to Walport and, and Yahats, and then we were in Toledo, and then we were here yesterday, and then we've been to Lincoln City. We go to every Ooh. church, right. every church. I mean, and I never knew this. I was talking to our senior <laughs> pastor last night up in Everett, right? And I said, you know, we're praying, we're going to the Jehovah's Witness. And there was some, they were there looking at us yesterday when we were, we pulled up into their lot, and they're sticking their head out the door. And, and uh, I never realized there was no windows in those places. Right. <laughs> and so my natural inclination is, let's get my big chainsaw. Let's let some light into these places. <laughs> Come on, man, really? Yeah. But anyway, so um, isn't that neat, though? But we're praying for God's truth, that people would be convicted by the word, the leaders, and they would wipe away all their false doctrine and see Jesus for who he is. Mm-hmm. We're praying for a revival. Absolutely. But based on the word of God, not taken from it, not adding to it, you know. Right. And Dutch was talking about the remnant the other day, and I think Chuck or John, I always call him Chuck. I don't know why I keep calling John Chuck. But anyway, Corson was talking about that on one of the teachings I listened to about um, we just got to stick to the word, mm-hmm. you know. And the word speaks for itself. So right. I did something a little different when I was teaching through Isaiah 64, last week and you know i'm always trying to pull the gospel out which is so easy but i just said you know what i'm just going to read it and as i was reading it and i put the format down and then god just gave me the right things to say to apply it to today Mm. so when you read 64 it's like man this is talking about the united states right now Mm -hmm. what did it what did it say oh just the wickedness and evil well basically in 64 the children of israel are lamenting over their sin and they're asking god it's like man we don't deserve you they're they're really humbling themselves you know they're just saying man we blew it here we blew it there we blew it there we don't deserve your grace and mercy but thank you that we're going to get it you know were were they in exile i'm just curious no this was uh well this was after because they were remembering egypt this was uh what i forgot what rain because i just finished um talking through uh, King, Second Kings, and okay. basically the northern kingdom got attacked and conquered by Assyria, right. and the south by Babylon, and they right. were exiled for 70 years into Babylon. Right. And and so Chronicles is all about the to the post-exilic people, right. trying to give them hope in the Savior. Right. So that's why I'm wondering, and Isaiah was alive at that time, right. so right. that's why I'm wondering, who, who, what period of time were they? That's, joke, that's a joke question. That's a joke question. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, and what what I was My history is, what uh, I was reading, I believe it was in Samuel. Anyway, I mean, kind of like look at our country. I mean, have we been, you know, things. kind of stomping yeah. our little feet, wanting our own way? Um, we'll do it our, Evil. ourselves, right. you know, whatever. Right. Anyway, oh, guess what God let happen to to Israel? I mean, I it know. was like he people. let them right. he let them be overtaken by this group of people that were referred to as double darkness. Right. And I thought, oh wow! I mean, that's what it feels like right now, double darkness. And yet Israel I mean, did the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Just, they were just, just as exactly corrupt. the same. Right. But why did he allow that to happen? It was kind of like he wanted them to become <laughs> so sick and nauseated with all of the double darkness yeah. that they didn't want it anymore. And so I thought. 
Oh, mm. man, lately, that's kind of what I've been hearing. Even people who don't even know who Jesus is, they're going, man, we're not liking this. This is disgusting. Oh, yeah. There's something yeah, wrong. Over the There's country. something missing. It's God. Especially in the, the school boards, which they're not promoting. You don't see that. But on a lot of the, the, you know, the YouTube guys that are out there all over the country, it's just beautiful to see parents like, you know, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. we're done with you guys. You, and this one dad saying, you guys are done. You're history. You're getting voted out of here because you you know you're not gonna allow boys to compete with my daughters. I don't even let my sons rough up my daughter, and I'm gonna let your your sons thinking they're girls come in here and rough up my daughter on the soccer field. No way, man. You guys are done. Yeah. Oh. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> and it's happening everywhere. It's happening politically. I mean, you listen to Ted Cruz. I love Ted Cruz. He is a pit bull. Well, and the the exciting thing was it was just a young dad. I I would say probably in his, you know, late 30s, early 40s, something like that. And he began to realize that, I mean, in grade school, you know, he he went to like the school library. And I mean, they couldn't even they couldn't even read out loud what was actually in the books in the public in the school library because it was pornographic material all about detailed like um explanations about a rape and all this kind of horrible horrible stuff so you know what he's called it he said he he'd go this is a millstone offense yeah that's and he put that's... it down then he'd bring it up this is another millstone offense yeah. and it was like we're not going to stand for it any longer right. yeah. and so they are getting rid of any of the school board people who think that it's okay to do that. And so, Father, right yeah. now, just as we Hallelujah. think about our precious little children, yes, Lord. Um, kind of like what Ernie was saying, no, yep. I mean, these parents would not allow this kind of treatment of their children. And so, That's Father, right. I thank you and praise you that you're, mm-hmm. uh, one, I want to thank you for loving us enough here in Lincoln County to allow South Beach Church to open up an actual Christian school That's right. that is actually teaching straight out of the Bible to yes, these Lord. students. That's right. And so we thank you for that. And Father, then we think about all of the parents who don't necessarily, there's not really a, enough room in this little Christian school for all of the kids in Lincoln County. And so, Father, right now we just come against anybody, anything right. that is speaking any kind of um, evil kind That's of stuff right. to these precious little mm-hmm. children. Yeah. Father, we ask, Lord, that you would either help them come to know you, Jesus, right. in a personal way, Thank or you. you would shut their mouths That's and right. that they Lord, would they would have the the fear of realizing mm-hmm. that when you look at them. When they're causing a child to stumble and right. fall, they would be better off with what we call a millstone. It's a gigantic um, rock um, grinding stone tied around their neck and dropped into the Mariana Trench. Mm-hmm. And so, Father, right I thank you and praise you that no longer in this nation do we want for our little children to mm-hmm. be um, abused in this way. And That's so, Father, right. we thank you and praise right. you that... I'm sorry Mm -hmm. that so many have been injured to like get us Mm -hmm. awake and to realize, oh my goodness, we've been sleeping under the bush someplace and that we need to like um, be like Elijah, bold and courageous and say no more of this, not on our watch in Jesus name. Amen. We pray that you would open up the hearts and the minds of the children, Lord, that they would be able to see truth and know truth, Lord, and that as these lies are being presented to them, Lord, they would just look at it as nonsense that it is, that they right. would understand uh, because you are in them, you are with them, they are your children. And so, Lord, we just pray for them, for that knowledge, for that understanding, for that clarity. We pray yeah. it for yeah. our churches, we pray it for our schools, we pray it for our leaders, Lord, uh, Lord, that there would just be an awakening, there would be a clearing of this, of this fog, and people would know the truth, and they would believe the truth, Lord, and they would cast away these lies that are being thrown at us, Lord. We just pray for your revival. Come back That's soon, right. yeah, Lord, yeah. please. Deliver us from this nonsense or take us home. Either way, yeah. Lord, we just love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name. And, and Lord, also, as Rob was praying there, I I, I see these little children that, that know the truth, that are brought up uh, in, the, in the churches and their parents are teaching them the word that they would have boldness yeah, to, stay, mm-hmm. to speak the truth to the teacher as they're That's spitting right. out lies. Mm-hmm. In a sim, you know, you said out of the mouth of babes. Lord. Right. And so um, innocently and in love, let these children stand for the truth for themselves in their classrooms, 
and uh, shame the teachers, literally. And uh, Lord, it's uh, it's fun to watch you turn things around. Lord, thank you that we all get to be part of it, mm-hmm. and give us all boldness and wisdom, Lord, to yes, Lord. again speak your truth Let's in love, because um, your truth is the truth, whether right, people Lord. choose to believe it or not. That's right. So we give you all praise, glory, and honor mm-hmm. in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus Lord. Name. Yes, Lord. And thank you that you hold the heart of um, the, our leaders in your hand. That's right. And that you know you're able to turn them in any direction that you want. They may, just like I can't remember. I think his name was Balaam or something like that. He was a prophet that was going to. Um, you know, um, speak out curses against Israel, but all that would come out of his mouth were blessings. And so, Father, we thank you and praise you that Mm -hmm. these people who have stiffened their necks and they um, are determined that they are going to absolutely destroy the country that you birthed Mm -hmm. here Mm -hmm. in the United States of America, we thank you and praise you that they find themselves only speaking blessings over Mm -hmm. this country. And we thank you and praise you for turning their hearts uh, to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, if that was that, uh, looks like a big electric truck just drove by and beeped. So thank you, brother. (laughs) God bless you. And Lord, bless that driver. Bless the work of his hands today and let him be a light to everybody that he comes into contact with today. Amen. Lord, let your power flow amen Jesus lord name. and thank you for this radio station thank you for 98.7 fm and for every person who would be listening we pray your blessings your glory to shine upon them lord and bless mm-hmm. them with great favor Absolutely. and we thank you for your healing touch i thank you for ernie coming in and ex- saying he has a pain in his back and we get to pray for him and lay hands yeah, on him yeah. mm-hmm. and ernie i think of your friend uh you said oh, you're going to pray oh, for yeah, him all pray the time for yeah. so mm-hmm. lord we just continue uh, to lift Brooke up, and uh, we just thank you for, uh, well, it's hard to say thank you for the trial he's going through, but we thank you that your hand is on him through this trial. That's right. Lord, and, mm-hmm. and I just prayed for continued peace, uh, wisdom for the doctors as they are, uh, you know, stitching him back together. They're, they're doing uh, the uh, physical part, Lord, but you're going to do the spiritual part and the healing, and uh, it's going to be miraculous. Mm-hmm. And I just know that I know you've got a special purpose and a plan for this young man. And may he just uh, really push into you hard Nothing during is this time. Impossible, uh, we continue yes. to lift up his wife and the, the baby that's going to be due, I think, in June yes. or July. Uh, we pray for health and safety and protection around them. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Lord, mm-hmm. thank you that all things are possible <laughs> yes, to Lord. those that believe. Thank mm-hmm. you, Lord, that we can do yes, all Lord. things through Christ who strengthens us. Lord. Yes, so we Lord. thank you for Brooke, his family, his mom, um, my buddy. Everybody that's surrounding him, Lord, just fill them with peace and encouragement. Um, and, uh, Lord, we just look to you, and mm-hmm. we're just so excited to see what you're going to do in this young man's life. Yes. And for all of those that are listening that have uh, similar situations where there's a, a sickness or a disease or a mental illness or a, a pain in their back, <laughs> any of those things, Lord, that uh, they're just temporary, Lord. Mm-hmm. And uh, we just lift everybody up and maybe family members. And uh, I especially want to lift up Pastor Jesse up in uh, Everett. We talked last night, and uh, a good friend of ours, or Cindy's, how we found that church had passed away a few months ago and and the church seems to be uh disintegrating lots of attacks from the enemy and people dropping off and uh but jesse said you know i'm going to keep preaching even if only one person shows up lord. amen so, amen so bless him lord bless him and julie and continue we thank you for continued mm-hmm. provision uh, for them both physically and spiritually for their needs lord and uh and you know you're just doing a shaking lord and and but the shaking happens so we can be refilled and so lord we're excited to see what you're going to do and what that's going to look like and we thank you for revival being poured out through this country amen yes thank you for the prophecy that was spoken over oregon and colleen's faithfulness and all the fun cool things you do with this little woman lord Mm -hmm. it's so amazing to be uh, that we're all part of each other's life here in newport so lord just bring it on bring the revival on Keep us ready and willing and uh, obedient to your word, Lord, Mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. And Father, just even as we think about these churches, whether they're here in Lincoln County or whether they're um, someplace else in the state of Oregon or perhaps um, in any of the other 50 states, thank you that you had instructions and you said, I would like my church to be known as a house of prayer. Mm -hmm. And so we want to thank you. We think about this gentleman that 
um, Ernie was just, um, you know, praying about. Thank you, Father, that you will help there to be he and whoever else that will mm -hmm. actually come before you and pray. Yes, and Lord. Father, I just want to thank you for the story that I'm reminded of uh, years ago when you allowed, I think, 22 of us to go over to Molokai, Hawaii, to build a church and a parsonage. And, um, and then years later, um, I don't remember the pastor's name, but he was over on the island of Maui, and he felt like he was feeling your prompting to um, open up like a, um, a satellite church there on the island of Molokai. And they opened it, and I mean, they did everything known to man to grow that church, and it stayed at 40 people, 40 people, 40 people, and finally, they said to you, what in the world are we missing? What are we not doing? And you said, well, why don't you step up your prayer? Mm. And then they were going, well, like, what, what are you talking about? And then it was like, oh, oh, our Father who aren't in heaven. Mm -hmm. And so they began to look at, at your prayer, and they started at one end of the island, and they prayer walked the entire island and when you showed them that there was something that needed to be cleansed or clean or you know whatever that's what they did and when they were all done in less than a year the church had expanded to 400 mm. so father thank you that just help us to be obedient to what you tell us to do yes, in jesus Lord. name mm -hmm. amen. Amen. amen i just got a text here and I have the number, but oh, gosh, I apologize. I'm not sure who this person is, but let me let me lift this up. It says, please be lifting up my friend Karen and sister in the Lord. Uh, Doc said her open heart surgery couldn't have gone better yesterday, but I just received this from her husband, Sean, or Sean, S-E-A-N, is that Sean? Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, good morning. Here's an update. Karen uh, is still in ICU. At about 5 p.m. yesterday, her lungs started secreting too much fluid. It's called flash pulmonary edema mm -hmm. and lord we just speak against that right now mm -hmm. in jesus name mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they had to re-intubate her and sedate her so that they could correct the co2 levels in the blood as well as the secretion in her lungs so she's currently on a breathing machine mm -hmm. and unconscious mm -hmm. uh, basically she was uh, drowning uh, yeah. around her own fluids for lack right. of a better of explaining i'm heading back to the hospital this morning and can update you later and my prayer back oh jesus surround karen with your healing power amen, and bring amen. her body into alignment with your perfect amen will. lord that's right comfort lord. her and sean with your peace that surpasses all understanding amen lord and continue to give the doctor's wisdom we yes. know she is in your excellent love and care mm -hmm. lord god amen to lift that. her up Lee. let your mm -hmm. spirit and angels be evident all around in that hospital room that's and keep right. her safe and also sean as he drives pour out your wonder working power yes, father lord. hold yes, them lord. tight and may they continue to be steadfast in faith by your spirit anchored in jesus the in this storm in jesus oh, okay linda linda dinerstein dinerstein she's the one that's helping with all <laughs> yes. of our music here oh so we got the yeah. the blanket oh wonderful okay linda praise god man well you just prayed for us so <laughs> lord we just agree in yeah, uh, complete agreement lord. with this prayer and absolutely. we thank you lord that uh, you are working in this situation mm. again with the enemy purposes for our destruction god you are going to turn that's this right, into something lord. wonderful that's right in lord. jesus name Jesus name and father as I think about that I think about um, Jerry Poshton over in Salem Oregon who had to have extensive back surgery mm. and father to like regain the strength uh, to be able to walk and do all the things that she needs to do we thank you that you'll bring into alignment everything about her recovery and father we think about um, our friend Alma who uh, just days. had uh, critical stomach surgery that her stomach actually twisted like a pretzel and mm. it was like life-threatening thank you lord that they were able to put it yeah. back together the way that it belongs thank you for that quick healing mm -hmm. thank you for our precious friend sharon right here in newport that the doctors are figuring out like what's been going awry uh, with like her eyes and swallowing and and just you know what all's happening we thank you father that you always tell us you said seek me first and my kingdom and my righteousness right. and oh, i will i will 
touch you from the top of your head to the bottom of your toes. So we thank you ahead of time for the answers for each one of these that's on the way. Yes, Amen. Amen. Sure. And I and I got another one here. Um, uh, Claire, who listens in South Beach, we hey, love Claire. Claire. Hey, Claire. <laughs> Y'all know her. She says, "Please pray for pray for a friend, a dear friend who used to attend uh, the Newport Four Square New Life Center years ago. She moved away years ago. She loves and serves Jesus. She's having memory problems, and her family is considering a home for her because of the gaps. Please pray for clarity of her mind, mm-hmm. as well as peace for all decisions being made for her yes, future, Lord. which God holds. Amen. Amen. So Amen. we do lift up the clarity of her mind, Lord. We That's pray right, that you Lord. would touch her like you only you can, mm-hmm. Lord, this dear daughter of yours whom you love and you know. Mm-hmm. We right. pray that you'd minister to her even right now and that you would bring her clarity of mind with yes, those Lord. with no gaps involved and that there would be wisdom and peace surrounding every decision mm-hmm. regarding her. In yeah. Jesus' name. And I raise up uh, Katie and Tony, uh, Cheryl's aunt and uncle, as uh, Tony is diagnosed with Alzheimer's and is being put in a home. And Katie's trying to figure out what that looks like and, and going through all those struggles. And Lord, we just pray for your hand to be in there, your peace to be with her as she right. walks through these times. Lord, may she rest on you knowing that you're going to take care of her through these things. And uh, Lord, we just pray for Tony that you would just... Uh, Fix his mind, Lord. Just relieve him of, of these struggles, Lord, that you would bring him back into full continence of, of who he is Amen, and what Lord. he is. Amen, and, Lord. Right. And, and all these things, Lord, you are capable of doing that. And so, Lord, we ask, we have not because we ask not, so we do ask for that, Lord. Yes, that Lord. You would just cool. touch him and, and heal him, Lord, and bring him back. And if not, Lord, we just pray for a peace that passes all reason for Katie Amen. as she walks through this season. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, Lord. Well, look, Amen. Linda, just... Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Linda just sent a beautiful picture of the clouds and a rainbow. Oh, sweet. You we also, I gotta, I gotta you got to go. I want to. I want to pray for Kim. Uh, Kim is my uh, my son-in-law's mom, and she's in the hospital. And so, Lord, we extend prayer over her uh, together, uh, even as Ernie has to leave. Lord, we ask for your healing over her and peace of mind as we've been praying, mm-hmm. clarity of mind over their family, everyone Absolutely. in Jesus' name. In so, Jesus' name. God bless you, Ernie. Yeah, healing on you, brother. Give him er- all the time. Give him, yeah. Oh, Ernie's got, got it. A, what do you got going on? He's well, got to go to some training. Guy in town now installing the okay. Cars, I gotta, I gotta He's got to work. Training. You got to work. Yeah, I'm not retired. Holy yet. moly. <laughs> retarded, but not retired. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're halfway there. <laughs> so Ernie Moquin is uh, he's a mechanic you, brother. and uh, he's also on the air a prayer warrior mm-hmm. uh, listen to him on, on Monday morning or Mondays at noon and uh, prayer on Tuesdays and then when I'm not here on Fridays he, he takes the helm right. he's, he's learned this stuff yeah he shows up about 20 after <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get to when Scott's here I come in here at 6.30 in the morning I get to hang out with Scott and I visit know. with him for a while with Ernie's here I sit out in my truck until about 7.30 <laughs> right, 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 right well you're listening to Winds of Praise if you needed to text in my phone number is 541 270 and that's a good good way to Absolutely. get in touch with Colleen or, or Rob and um Bring your prayer requests. Absolutely. Interesting the way things are going these days. I was sharing with Scott earlier that uh, Cheryl and I were watching uh, Jack Hibbs' last teaching because she wasn't here. She was over in Redmond for the weekend. And so we were sitting down last night to watch Jack Hibbs' Sunday service. And uh, halfway through, it turned off and they've removed his, his channel completely. And, and there's no more Jack Hibbs on YouTube. So apparently he uh, upset them and they've completely removed so, him. So what is your alternative? Uh, I can go to his... Uh, I can go to his website. I can go to his app, app, and not apt app, and you can uh, listen to his teachings okay. on there. There you go. Um, but just kind of interesting the times and the places we are where we're taking our pastors with free speech and pulling them off the air because you don't like what they're saying. Exactly. I mean, it's just insane where we have gone. Well, Father, I just want to thank you and praise you that you tell us that you have given us keys you've given us authority Mm -hmm. and so father we just want to thank you and praise you that we have the authority to bind up the spirit of uh, restricting our free speech Mm. our our founding fathers gave us freedom of speech and so father we agree with what our founding fathers who were like listening to you so we agree with you so we thank you and praise you that we're binding up these restrictions and we're loosing free speech freely flowing Mm -hmm. across this entire nation and father we think about the people 
who are a part of Facebook, they're a part of Twitter, they're a part of, of YouTube, they're a part of all of these things, Google, they're a part of Amazon, they're, they're a part of Apple, you know, they're a part of all these places where, I'm sorry, Father, they think that you're stupid and they're very, very, very smart. Mm. And so, Father, I thank you that you are able to take the blinders off of their eyes. Thank you for your Holy Spirit wooing them and drawing them. Mm -hmm. And thank you that that empty place inside of them that cannot be filled up with money or power or prestige right. or or any other thing known Sex, to man nothing. cannot be filled up with those things. No. We thank you that that empty place mm -hmm. uh, continues to call out to them that they would accept the gift the gift that you gave them, the gift of forgiveness, mm -hmm. and that anything they've ever done wrong has been already forgiven. That's right. Amen. 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 Price has been paid in full. That's the thing. One of the things I brought uh, to my message on Sunday was that Jesus forgives every sin, every single sin. There's it's not, already forgiven. There's not right. one that remains. Right. There's well, nothing. I mean, when he hung on Completely. the cross, every when single he one. said it, is finished. Yeah. He already paid for all of my sins yesterday, yep. all of them he did today, it. He did all it. of them tomorrow. He did it. Right. And all he wanted to know was, Colleen, would you like the gift of my forgiveness? It's a gift. It's a gift. All I have to do you is can't reach earn my little right. hand out and say, say yes or no. Yes. Yep. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Absolutely. And then my whiteboard that had red marks, black marks, oh, all kinds of yucky marks on it. And I mean, his blood has washed yes. every yes. last thing off. There's not one thing, nothing that you can think of that would not be forgiven. So, Father, right now, we just thank mm -hmm. you and praise you that you help those that are hearing our voice. Mm -hmm. That it's like, he's not asking, oh, go clean this up. Go, go take yeah. care. No, he's not asking that right. at all. He's just saying, Colleen, Come do you me. want the gift that I have right. for you? where I already paid the price, right. the biggest price ever, and the, my answer is yes, yes. and Absolutely. amen, Believe and I am in grateful. Him. Oh, man, I think that's good news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is good news. <laughs> you think? I think so. The good news. We'll call it that. That'd be mm -hmm. a good name for it, good news. The good news, the gospel. That's the gospel. That's it right there. Okay, it's good I, news. We didn't come up with that. You can't earn it. It's a free gift. It is a free it's gift. A free you can't gift. earn it. Just say yes. Absolutely. All you can do is accept it. He'll work out the details. Right, but, tell you what to do. Well, but, he'll show you. He'll show you I've got a better do. way, right? Yeah, I've yeah. got things that there's. I did. I created you uniquely but and it's special. Not like, it's not and like I've got things for you to do. Let me show you how these things work. If you'll do them my way, your life goes so much it's better. It's not like you'll you get salvation after you do these things. No, 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 no. no. Gosh, no. no, no, no. Thank goodness. But, <laughs> but what does the enemy of our soul? You know, I mean, the enemy of our soul. His name is Satan, and he is a liar. If his lips are moving, right. he is lying. Absolutely. And so Father he of comes all lies. to right. accuse you. He comes to accuse you. He comes to condemn you. Right. Jesus never you. accuses you. Jesus never condemns you. And so what the evil one does is he comes along, and it's like, oh, it couldn't possibly be free. You, you have to, like, take care of all this stuff. You know, oh, that was really egregious, the thing that you did. So that one can't You will be never for be forgiven. Yeah, exactly. Right. You're too bad. So see, he is a big, fat liar. <laughs> I just heard a testimony. Kelly and I like to watch Jacob's Tent on Saturdays. Um, and uh, there are two people that testified after they were done. They eat together every time, and then they come back and ask questions. Well, this was a testimony time, and they said, we got to tell you what happened. And her mother was dying, but she knew the Lord, so she was actually happy about it. But her mother's father was always a crusty guy. Don't talk to me about Jesus, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I'll, I've, I've blown it too bad. He'll never forgive me. And guess what? The, the, uh, the son-in-law prayed for wisdom and basically led this man to Jesus hey, man. and this man transformed and changed before his eyes you know he became from the crusty old dumpy guy that I'll never be forgiven I'm too bad to full of life Amen. full of joy full Amen. of peace full of love and that's the gift of God praise God well, and so are you saying that the love and the joy and the peace and the patience, all of that fruit, that comes along with the salvation? Jesus I get gives that it also? to you, yes. Whoa. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm forgiven, and then it's, I get all of that, too? I tell you what, right. it's good news. 
It is, it is great good, news. Good news. All right. Well, it's uh, it's your time. It's time. It's thirty minutes, and we're looking right at the clock. And you're listening to KWPBLP Newport. There's the legal ID, and I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for the work that's been doing in the studio. Mm-hmm. Grateful for every listener. Um, and I'm grateful for, G- for Jesus. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm so, I say this a lot, but I'm so glad to be on this side of the cross. Amen. We're, we're in the past. They were looking for the Messiah. Well, guess what? He has come. Right. He's mm-hmm. done it all. God He's says it's again. finished. Yes. Yes, come yes, soon, yes. Lord. Today would be a good day. So thank you for listening. Uh, Today would the, be a great the, day. The gang will be back on Friday uh, without me is the plan. And uh, in the meantime, since Ernie's gone, he's given you, Rob, I think, permission to uh, take did. us out. Yeah. So go out there and give them heaven.